Hello and welcome back to Universe Sandbox 2 to simulate a universe as a sandbox. I wonder where they came up with the name from. Okay, so today we're going to be doing a bit of terraforming and then destroying what we've terraformed. So I think we're going to terraform every planet in the solar system. Or maybe not every planet. Let's go to a different solar system, actually. That should be more exciting. Let's see. Let's see what we've got. Oh my. Whoa. That, that's quite a few dwarf planets on that one. No, we don't have anything we can actually, um do here okay that's okay we will just do the normal solar system and we're gonna try to do this without moving the planets so for heat we are going to have to use other sources oh no barking oh what's that let me close my door because my dog is stupid okay I'm sorry, Charm, you're not really stupid, you're just loud and a little bit annoying. Okay, so, let's get to work on Mercury. So, to begin, we are going to need to cool it down. Okay. So we need to turn off its radioactive power. Like, completely. Come on. We've got to cool it down. Is up cooler or is down cooler? Up is cooler. Okay, so we've just tweaked its albedo. And now it is cooling down. Rather slowly, I will add. But not too terribly. We turned off its radiative power. And let's now mess with its atmosphere. Oh, that was this. Okay, so we have to speed up time a bit now. And see how low this goes. Here we go. Water can be sustained on Mercury now. So now we will add said water. Said water is being added. Come on. There we go. And Mercury can now sustain life. Well, let's get rid of a little bit of the water to make it look better, but... There we go. That looks very livable. So let's see, yeah, I think the temperature's gonna go too low over time, but... Also, I need to do something. Someone told me that there was a way to turn off these trails, and there was a lot less lag if you did. Obviously, I won't have to be worrying about that soon. Because I'm going to be getting a um, better graphics card. GTX 970 Strix, yeah. Uh, if you want to know about that... Oh! Um, big thing. I have a video right now out where you can give me feedback about all my videos. I just made it today, so it's there. Yeah. Okay, let's see. Where... Turn off anti-aliasing. Um, V-Sync, where are you? Oh, where is it? General debug? <laughs> no, I don't. I don't think it's anywhere in here. Oh well. We tried. 
Honestly, we don't have to worry about lag soon, so we're gonna be okay. So, Mercury, let's see how long you'll survive for at this rate. And, yeah, it's not looking good. It's getting very cold on Mercury. But we can still save it quickly. Turn this down just a teensy bit. That was actually gaining. Okay, we need to balance this out perfectly. Yes, we did it! It's balanced! Mercury is now stable and terraformed. Okay, let's go on to Venus. Now, Venus is going to be even trickier because it's very, very warm. So, we have to get rid of basically not everything, but let's start by getting rid of everything. Letting it go down and cool off. And then we'll do the same. Oh my god. Then we'll do the same thing. And just, uh, what's it called? It's actually not cooling down, <laughs> which is a bit of a problem. Um. Well, isn't that great? Let's get rid of the greenhouse. Oh. Oh my. What did I just do? Well, I broke Venus. There we go. Let's get rid of the atmosphere. Or the pressure of the atmosphere. Oh my god. Never mind, I froze it. I froze Venus. That's what I did. Oh. Is it like warming back up? Yeah, it is. Okay, good. I didn't do too much damage. I only did a lot. Okay, let's do the smart thing here. And switch this to zero. And let Venus get out of this. Okay, it is actually getting colder. So we need to... Now let's see how warm this will get. Will it stabilize itself? Or is it just going to be dumb? It's just going to be dumb. Okay, we have to tweak this to be perfect. Which is not going to be easy. Dang. Oh, did we do it? It is going down, but extremely slowly. This will be stable for years. Okay. I consider that good enough. So the surface tempers that uh, temperature. We can put a tiny bit of water on, and it's. We can see clouds under that a little bit, so we can assume that it's been successfully terraformed. A little bit of organics, hydrogen. Oh my. Okay, so that's Venus terraformed. Actually looks kind of green, which is nice. Earth, this is this is going to be a hard one to terraform. You know, it's so bad. We're, we're just going to have to get rid of it and start start from the beginning. There we go. We're getting close. Close to fixing Earth. My oh my, just melt already have to throw bigger things at you. 
Okay, so Earth is now completely livable. So now that we've finished Earth, let's go on to Mars. Probably the easiest one to terraform, other than Earth. But if you guys couldn't tell, that was a joke. Um. Now for this, we're going to have to turn down the albedo. It's actually not going up. It's a little bit worrying. Yeah, we're gonna have to turn up the greenhouse effect a bit. Terraforming since 1995. Okay. This is taking a bit longer than I thought it would. Do to do. So, one way people think we could do this realistically in the actual world is by melting the polar ice caps on Mars. That would also let out water, which means it's like two birds with one stone. Yeah. So, we're almost there. If I set it to like 10, would it instantly go down again? Wait, is it actually stable? It's it's actually really stable. <laughs> okay, then let's just add the uh, water. A little bit too much water. And that got rid of like all the water. Do do do. There we go, that looks good. So now Mars is also well off. Did Mars turn greenish when I turned that on? So we're gonna have to see if it did. Sadly, no. Okay, well, there we go. That is all of the terrestrial planets. Um, done. I'm not going to go into the uh, gas planets because I'm going to have to do... Well... Yeah, I'm not sure it's possible. <laughs> I mean, the amount of heat we're going to have to make is pretty serious. Um... The only way we could really make that much heat, I'm not allowed to change it, not into all iron, but a bit of silicate too. Um, what we're gonna have to do is pretty simple. But you guys will see why this isn't a feasible way to do it. Here we go. There we go. Oh, too much. Yep, too much. Let's tweak that. Get just too hot so that it'll go down. Okay, it's not actually doing that. So let's just see what Jupiter would look like. Oh. Gotta add that water carefully. There we go. I guess we'll do all the planets. Why the heck not? Um. Saturn. Saturn would be pretty cool to live. I don't see the rings. <laughs> I was about to say because of the rings, but they're not here. There we go. It's actually got water and stuff already. We're going to do the same thing to Saturn. Heat it up using the beauty of 
explosions. Come on. One is a little bit more. I think that's pretty feasibly warm. And now we're going to add the water. That doesn't seem to be working. Why is the water frozen? Oh, have I just not given it enough time to melt? Yeah, there we go. And there we go, Saturn terraformed. These ones won't last very long though. Okay, Neptune. It's blue, so obviously it's already full of water and stuff, guys. Gosh. So, um, Uranus. Neptune's also blue. Man, is there anything left? I mean, there's Pluto, but it's not a planet. No, let's let's at least do Pluto. Um, my oh my, Pluto, accept our water. Okay, and now we're just gonna warm it up a little bit. Oh, that was a really big boom. <laughs> oh, it, it actually worked, though. Congrats. Pluto's now livable, too. Thank you guys for watching. Leave a like, subscribe, all that stuff. Like I said, I have a video up for you guys to uh, tell me what I'm doing well and what I'm not doing well. Thank you for watching. Goodbye.